Hello, this is Kerry Paulson with the Automatic Fisherman. We are introducing a new product in the 2017 ice fishing season called the Snapper. This is what the Snapper is actually going to look like in a package. And here's what it looks like in person. So the Snapper will be 17 inches long. It'll be two and a half inches wide and two and a half inches tall. The purpose of the Snapper is to have it so we can actually use a lot of different rods with uh, very little ease of um, making the adjustments. So you see here I have a knob up on the top of the product that I can use a 24 inch fishing rod like where it is right now and when I extend this out I can go all the way up to a 48 inch fishing rod. I've actually put a 7 foot rod in here but that's kind of impractical. Um, a lot of the ice rods are anywhere from 24 inches to 38 inches in length so that's what we've made the product for. Once you get the product extended out to where you want it, you twist the stabilizer arm out, and then you can lock the product in place by just turning the knob tight. Once the knob is tight, the product doesn't extend out. When you're ready, you go through and you grab the trigger and you just, you just lift it up like this, and now it locks in place. It's just a piece of spring steel that holds the trigger in place. Now, the back part here is where our rod holder tube is. The rod holder tube is stored under the product. When you're ready, you just flip this out and you can have it at a 90 degree angle. By loosening up this knob for the plate, we'll lock the plate in place. There's a scale on this side, there's a, a line on the top of that. So you could have this anywhere in here, angled down to whatever angle you want to use. The angle will be kind of based on the fishing rod. The shorter the fishing rod, the steeper the angle. So we're gonna go through and set this up for a 33 inch fishing rod. So I'm gonna lock it in place right here. Once I lock this in place, I usually don't have to mess around with it unless I'm really going through and changing a lot of rod lengths. Once I have that down, I just lock this in place. The purpose of locking this in place is so when, like with some other products that are out there, when the product has a, has a release and there's no fish on it, the rod goes sailing out of the hole. When, when you lock the rod holder down, the rod can't flip out of the product. So here's my 33 inch fishing rod right here. This is my medium light 33 inch rod, it's a really, really awesome trout, walleye, and pike rod. It's got seven guides, it's got it's a solid fiberglass rod, it's got a cork handle. Um, we sell a medium light, a medium, and a medium heavy in this exact style. We also have our 33 inch medium light, our medium, and our medium heavies in the same exact blanks with a foam handle. So here, I just put the 33 inch rod in there and I stand the trigger arm up like this. I bend the tip of the rod over and it engages onto the product. It's real, real simple. The whole point of this product is to, to create a hook setting device on the ice. So when the fish pulls down, this little lever will drop down the angle of that pin will change, and then the rod flips off there and sets the hook in the fish. When that's done, you take the rod out of the holder and you can fight your fish. So that's a 33 inch fishing rod. Now I'm gonna show you my 38 inch fishing rods. So all I need to do here is just extend this out a little bit, lock this back in place. Now my 38 inch rod, this is an awesome jigging rod for walleyes right here because it's got a really soft tip to it. It's a good trout rod. It's a, a really nice perch rod and pike rod. You see there, I'm doing the same thing. You see how it fits in there nice and easily? If I want less hook set power out of this pole, I just loosen this knob up and I can actually extend this product out and it'll get you a lot less hook set power. If you want more hook set power, you can cock this thing back in so it can actually set the hook in 200 feet of water for you if you want. I mean, there's a lot of power right there in that, in that rod. So 
Normally, I like to have my fishing rod so when you see the tip of the rod come down, it's kind of cocked back just a little bit. And then I know that I'm, I'm set up pretty good for the, the, the hook set part of it. Now, you'll notice on the, on the snapper product, you have a bobber and you have a tool. The tool here is there to adjust this trigger pin. The more you angle this trigger pin back towards the rod holder, the harder it will be for the fish to trip this system off. When you take this trigger pin and you bend that away from the rod holder, it'll be easier for the fish to trip this system off. Now our trigger pin has, your trigger shaft has a lifetime warranty to it. You will not break them. I've built over 110,000 of the automatic fisherman products. I've replaced a bunch of these because when they actually made the, the, the threading, the nylon lock nut actually locked onto the trigger, onto the metal. So we have to make, uh, when they do that, they have to do a new die. And you know, so now I just have a little better um, way to track that. So here is my 38 inch heavy, heavy action rod. It's a, it's a design for Lake Trout and Lake Superior. This rod fits in here with no problem. You just take this and you bend that over and you see here, this rod, there's no issue with it. And you see here, the way that this is tracked the rod or the reel can actually sit right inside that track of the of the snapper product. So here's a 48 inch fishing rod right here. Same thing, we're gonna go through, put this 48 inch fishing rod in here. See, real easy, just done. Now, one of the things that you'll see with this product is when you use a shorter rod, like a 27 or a 24 inch fishing rod, you'll notice that the front of the product might be a little bit tippy. No big deal, we've rectified that by having this able to retract back and be adjusted to on the top so the stabilizer can be more for, towards the front of the product. And the nice thing about this product is when you're adjusting things, you have three knobs and a piece of steel that you can move pretty easily. So you don't have all these little pins that you got to move around. You don't have little nuts that you got to do or screws that you got to do. It's three knobs. So it's really easily adjustable. Here's our 27 inch fishing rod. You'll see how easy this is. It's ready to fish. And we have these bobbers now that have actually pins glued into the bottom of that that sit in there so when the wind is blowing it won't blow the bobber out but when the fish hits it comes out nice and easily see when the rod get light, bobber gets tight the shaft locks down the rod sets the hook in the fish um so here's this is the snapper when you fold it down this is all you got to do put that in there Push the two arms in, loosen the knob back here up, flip it back in, turn that back tight, loosen this, twist the arm underneath the stabilizer, and you're done. You're ready to put this in your bag, in your bucket, wherever you want to go with it. So it's a really cool product. Check it out at automaticfisherman.com. Go right to our website. You can order them right off of the website. Uh, we will be done manufacturing them probably around June or July. And you can place advanced orders on them right now if you want. Uh, we will be selling them at Bass Pro, hopefully at Wholesale Sports, the Fishing Hole, uh, Walmart, um, Cabela's, Fleet Farm, and shields so if the product if you have some interest in the product you can look at it on the website we've done some videos on it for on youtube and we'll be doing more on youtube so just check it out and
thanks for your time and uh, we'll talk to you later. And thanks for all your support in the past.